Welcome to day 73. a.m. Um, overcast nice mild day so far Uh, we are three hours into our morning and the temperature is nice and mild but the humidity is way way up there like you could cut it with a spoon and uh, we're seeing red F's everywhere which is cool we are rocking a 1.5 mile an hour pace it's just the way it goes sometimes Little baby lemon squeezer.
my favorite trail angels. Hello. And uh, and rescuer. So you got in the car and you drove a pair of shoes to us. I did. I did, but it was a lovely drive because this is a beautiful part of the world. Yeah, no complaints. See, there's no way you can hike the Appalachian Trail without getting support from people who care about you. It was, yeah, there's really no problem. But it's also a great excuse to see you, so. But most of all, you brought us goodies that we didn't even know we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> well, I brought things that I would want. There you go. But it was kind of nice to that's think about the, things. That's the best yeah. gift of all. Yeah. And yeah. I got to meet Rock Flipper and Mrs. Rock Flipper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and actually, and I brought and I brought them to you in the car that you helped me get. Shelby, that's right, and Shelby, Shelby. Yeah. So it all comes together, full circle. Yeah. And I realized it was 28 years ago that I was on the trail at this time, and I'm glad I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> it was traumatizing, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> it was tough. It was, it, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I'm not doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> Anything I can think of to make your life a little cushier. I'll start, I'll start working my list. All right, I got it for you. Basically a trip to Walmart. Yeah, well, get get ready for some, a whole lot of dog hair. All right. Uh, because you're going to have a lot of canine love. This is what you're going to have. I've been looking forward to that. Yeah, you're going to get is it. Is he a snuggler? He's such a snuggler. I he's going to yeah. snuggle him. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a snuggle monster. He, he's, might, he might break you too. <laughs> he might. If anyone could, it would be him. He's, be him. he's a ridiculous cartoon of a dog. Yep. Yeah. So You'll, you all, all get to meet him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you will. It's our boy. Yeah. All right, it was great to see you. you Have a wonderful night. Thank you Rest so up. Feel better. All right, I'll see you soon. Yesterday we were walking and even after the descent down the cliffs of insanity you were just fine and then suddenly we're walking along the river and what happened? Walking along the river my left shin really started to hurt and to be honest that's when I really started paying attention to my shoes and we've talked a lot about shoes as gear. This is my pair of Ultra Lone Peak fours and they have 270 miles on them now a lot of that mileage is in pennsylvania and new york but this is what the bottom of the shoe is supposed to look like and this is what the bottom of the shoes look like you can see all the tread spots are gone it's actually starting to break down and that's happening on both shoes it just hasn't made it all the way through on this side but that's the lateral support in the shoe. And then on the front, they're completely coming apart. This one was super glued last night, but you can already get your finger all the way back and touch where the toes are. So I suspect the support from these was pretty much shot. The traction shot on the back. Um, so I'm switching over to a new pair of the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s, and I'm gonna give them one more try. And if they don't, hold out for more than about 250 to 300 miles, then I'm probably going to have to switch shoes. And I really regret that because these have that really wide, comfortable toe box. But if I can't get the support that I need for the rest of my leg, then I can't stay with this shoe. So stay tuned. We'll let you know in about 200 to 250 miles. So we've been back at the hotel for a couple hours. Yep. What do you think about today? Um, I was still raring to go when we got back to the hotel. I still had another five miles in me when we got back. That's just the way it was. Yeah. I, I let you lead today because I felt like you needed to set a pace that would be um, therapeutic for your shin splints. I tore my left shin up pretty good yesterday. 
probably because of shoes and maybe a little bit because of pace, but I think mostly because the shoes were just flat worn out. Mm -hmm. um, and also we were on, we were finally on something that was smooth and level. Yeah. And so your stride didn't vary at all. Right. Which, you know, normally when you're climbing up and down these hills, your stride is not the same ever from one step to the next because the, the trail is that variable. But then we were along the river and it was like walking along a sidewalk. Yeah. But today started out great. We weren't 10 yards into the trail and we found a stash of trail magic. And we just scored a little Gatorade out of it, which was very nice. And we, um, they, I'm so sorry I didn't get a picture of this, but there were rocks left at the base of the trail magic and a Sharpie marker. And people were writing thank you notes on the rocks and leaving them by the cooler. So we left our, we left our thanks. Yeah. We left our rock at the cooler. Um, it was so sweet. Yeah, it was a sweet gesture. Yeah, very, very nice surprise. We did not see another hiker until the last 50 feet of our hike today. Yeah, we were the only two out there all day. Yeah. It was, it was kind of nice. Yeah, it was. It was. It was fun. Not a lot of wildlife today, but we did see a lot of red. There's a lot of effed cuteness yeah, today. Yeah, a lot of cuteness. They were all over the place. Yep. We did see one deer just briefly. Yes. Um, handful of birds. Yep. Just, you know, kind of out there. We did see a toad standing off a red eft. Or Red F standing off a toad. It's hard to know who was going to win that one. Yeah, there was like David Attenborough moment, but we interrupted it, so I don't know how that was going to play yeah, out. The, the toad kind of <laughs> gave way and the F held his ground, so yeah. we'll call the F the toughie. <laughs> they are so cute. They're, yeah. just, they're adorable. And they're they're kind of they're kind of the trail animal because they're along the entire trail. Yeah, but they only come out when there's rainfall. We had a little rainfall this morning. Just a little sprinkle just enough to drive the humidity way way up but the temperature stayed mild so that was nice yeah, yeah. and um rock, rock flipper took a zero today and and that's fine he's gonna catch up when we take our zero in a couple of days yeah. Um, but yeah it, i had a pleasant day it was an easy day for me um ravenously hungry now though yeah even though i just ate a pint of ice cream we got a uh, rescue today. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I have new shoes. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have breakfast for a month. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lovely rescue today. Um, and I, I just don't even know how to thank you, yeah. Dr. No. Very sweet. We, we appreciate everything. Thanks for joining us. Oh, and one more thing. 900!